time no see. So I'm finally making a video. Yeah, finally it was time. So today, what I want to talk about is ethical fashion. I've mission, mentioned it. I've mentioned it before and uh, I think it's time. Um, I have some events coming up. My new website is up. It's uh, a lot of things I need to talk about. Um, so I'm going to start with one, what ethical fashion is about. Two, why I'm so interested. Three, yeah, three. I don't know. So, ethical fashion. So, to explain to you what ethical fashion is, I think I need to explain what it's not. It's, it's a lot simpler. In a nutshell, imagine working 16 hours a day, 7 days a week, in a, in a basement with rats running around, with a, a boss who is a bully and who keeps on shouting at you and you get abused. So you do all this to make garments that are sent to the other side of the planet to be bought by people who have no idea who made it, who have no idea in which condition you've made them and who don't really care because they don't really know they should care. And they all they want, all they want is to get the best price possible. They want a bargain. They don't want to have to pay too much for it. They want a good design. They want good quality, but they don't want to have to pay too much for it. And the brands know it. The brands know it. So the brands lower the price. They get you a discount. They, they, they give you whatever you want. But the problem is that in order to offer you a discount and in order to lower the prices and always offer cheaper garments, they have to cut their production prices. So the condition in which people are working at the bottom of the chain, where it all starts, where it's already really bad, just can only get worse. It's all down to if people are not willing to pay more for their garment, this is, this is what happened. And this is not ethical, it's not right. Ethical fashion is fashion done right. Right by the people making it, and right, just right the right way. You need to costume garment the right way. What, what you can do is that you can start wondering who made your clothes. Where was it made? And um, I think it's maybe um, because of my training, because I train in fashion marketing management and uh, product management. Um, I'm used to always, when I see a garment, touch it and look at the ticket, you know, the, the label inside to see where it was made, to see if it justifies the price. It's not necessarily easy to, justif to justify it in this way, but I kind of know which companies are doing efforts to improve their practices and to make sure that people are getting uh, paid properly and which company are not, which company kind of ignore it and as long as nobody asks questions they don't really care. Um, and I think that everybody should start asking questions and, um, and I really encourage you to ask questions actually. And what's happening is that um, you probably heard a year ago there was a terrible incident in Bangladesh. A factory collapsed and more than a thousand people were killed, 2500 were injured, badly injured. And uh, a lot of famous brands had their clothing produced in this factory. Um, if, you go, if you go for the, the French brands, you have Auchan, you have um, uh, Monoprix, Carrefour, um, Spanish brand, you have Mango, um, UK brand, you have Primark, American brands, you have Walmart, and they had their clothes made in this factory. And um, the thing is that in some way they are responsible for what happened. So some of them, after the incident, took responsibilities and some of them didn't. Some of them don't, don't seem to care, apparently. And uh, as a reaction to that, there is a fashion movement to fight this kind of condition, to, to get people to start asking questions that's been created. It's called Fashion Revolution and it's happening in a week. It's happening this month, in April, on the same day the factory collapsed. And the whole point of the campaign is an international campaign, you can check it on Twitter, it's called Fashion Revolution, so Fashion Rev, it changed, you have one for each country, you can join in, and what will happen on that day is that they encourage people to start asking who made my clothes, um, and to wear their clothes inside out, so the hashtag is inside out, and I'm totally, definitely taking part in this, and I just want to share it because I think that everybody should do it. I think you get the point about what ethical fashion is, ethical fashion is fashion done right. So it can be, if, if all you write is vegan and organic, um, it can be that, but usually it goes in pair with fair traded. Um, not necessarily fair trade the label, you know, like the one you see on sugar, bananas, etc. Just fair practices. You don't have to have a label. A company can be, can be really transparent about how well 
they treat the employee, how well they treat the manufacturer, how, how much they care about the people making the clothing, about the people sending it, about the condition it's made in, about whether or not it's toxic at any point in the dying process or not, about caring about the um, carbon footprint, all this come into place and I can um, talk about this more in detail in another video. Um, but I just wanted to say really that ethical fashion is fashion done right, that's how fashion should be. People should care, people should know and brands should care and brands should let you know and brands should just pay people what they should, they should pay and you should think that it's not normal that a pair of jeans costs four pounds or five dollars. There's something wrong with that. Can you imagine spending time making jeans? Even if somebody taught you how to do it, can you imagine spending time making jeans? And then it's sold to somebody, after travelling all around the world, it's sold to another person for five pounds or five dollars. How much, how much are you getting at the end? You're not getting much, are you? How, much are you, how are you going to have a future with that? That's, that's, just, that's just plain depressive. That's just plain depressive. And it makes me, it makes me angry. There's so many people that need to know this, and I feel like I need to say it. I have a channel, and I feel, since this is something I'm interested in and I work in and I want to promote, I feel like I have to say it. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any question or if you have any comment, you can post it down below. You can subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope to speak more about this in the future. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Seriously. Ah! Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! Okay, no, don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! Why is this stopping? This is my video!